think there is these facts and under bona fide in, uh, misconception ke the permission has been accorded the fir was registered but since it is not in consonance with the decision of the honorable apex court so therefore we lot uh, the fir may be permitted to be withdrawn with liberty we lot to move the honorable court again for fresh if that will be given then uh, well and good so this petition will lot if i will see and my lots will permit me then on that basis will lots otherwise because uh, of that other because i uh, even in that delhi's case will lots it was pointed out that when once fir is registered it can't be resigned it that's why i am saying ki i will indicate that but i will file an application will lots within two days by monday you see the difficulty is that it's the not only judiciary but the your entire legal fraternity suffers today a case came before me that is there was some scuffle between the lawyers uh, and immediately police registered fir there are 100 methods first they could have made them say as a sit together yeah they are all arms of law they are officers of the court yeah and instead of doing that you immediately registered fir it has become it has uh, become so oppressive that it one is difficult uh, one finds difficult to uh, uh, normally transact any business now as far as your second submission is concerned well there is a ground for withdrawal of fir which is known as error of law so what you have said just now that in misconception it was that is possible there is a that, that is you will find some judgment also some precedent also that is called error of law so if some fir has been registered as a error of law you can always withdraw it but where do you intend to move that application before the magistrate where you have sent your 154 report because you lot sir in fact because that you lot sir that or i think it would be better if that application is filed before my lord because uh, we, here we lots we can i can and this all happened lots uh, that uh, of uh, this communication we lots from the learned registrar general to learned district session judge and copy to sp that we thought it that uh, is when it is mentioned there so it permission has been accorded so th under that misconception otherwise we lots uh, there was no occasion for the learned district judge to have uh, sent that letter uh, because earlier the learned session judge has forwarded our request for permission to the learned registrar general no we don't want to get into all this no therefore we lots that was i seek that was the bona fide reason of misconception ki permission has been accorded not that ki intentionally we lots we uh, the police you uh, see uh, it would have been a different matter had it been some private dispute here the police is going into his chamber his chamber is part of his court the chamber of yeah lots so there can't be any dispute chamber of my chamber or brother chamber that that is part of, of we course. have been hearing matters there also yes yes lots there can't or if be. you consider it a public place no. well yeah lots this fraternity and there can't be any compromise in that yes i say ki because of that and circumstance lots had not we received the communication from the learned registrar indicating that if the authorities are competent to proceed ahead 
pillars we would not have touched them even if that communication is taken into consideration said proceed as per law yes so law law so is here pillars, uh, again you, i say you proceeded pillars, I'm not making you proceeded any against law yeah pillars the law because in under that impression that he i have to seek prior permission the sho billots wrote a letter seeking permission and forwarded the letter to the learned registrar uh, sorry uh, district and session judge learned district and session judge forwarded that communication to the learned registrar general now the learned district and session judge after a month with reference to the letter by which that permission letter had been forwarded to him by See, the now, superintendent of police uh, now the resultant effect would be yeah. any litigant who is disgruntled with the order of the judicial officer will file fi thousands no. of fir will be filed no Milos, against I, all the judicial officers no i am saying lords i am adhering to ki that law of so no what i am saying is this tendency is very dangerous it will lead to complication and lodging of several fir no, against Milos, against uh, all the judicial no, officers lords it should be strictly adhered to therefore you do the needful will yes yeah. therefore i say ki why 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 the supreme court has laid down this law in veera swami in up uh, up judicial officer in tees hazari all these cases yeah because if these judicial officers are subjected to fir the very democratic uh, institution will be in, in lots yeah danger Sir, lots there can't be do to this uh, opinion about it all the time what i am repeating that because of this chain lots we were under the bona fide impression that as required and laid down by the onbul apex court the communication from the registrar general is communication of the permission but still i am not going behind i am still not so going behind certain, that certain certain authorities like high court judges they are constitutional authorities but yeah even, but i am not even, harping on that even I'm, advocate general yes is a part is a, of that is a part of that tomorrow we lot say uh, uh, i think you a lot of uh, you, people from you, different varieties we lot used to come and any <laughs> lot we lot some are coming with some grievances with respect to pendency of matter either in with you can address you can address both our houses of the vidhan sabha vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad yeah as i do ke janna yeah we lots only not there i am also conscious of course not in there but why it was being debated in the uh, before the constituent assembly we lots a proposal had been that that advocate general should be the minister of justice because that is being there in okay in so yeah, i am conscious of that also that even if pilots i may not I, i may be holding only the status of a cabinet minister but still pilots <laughs> i consider to be that therefore taking into account pilot i will be the so I, if, they, if they make a beginning somewhere <laughs> so you don't know where it will end up yeah therefore pilots i am conscious and i will be the last person to have it in any fake pilots impair or prejudice the majesty therefore we lots i say ki i will we will file a petition within two days by monday or all day. right uh, my lord if uh, my lords would like to have a look at uh, section 321 of the crpc that is for pro bidol of prosecution prosecution is start till date no that prosecution is, uh, has that is uh, 321 is a separate provision my lord that is during the course of trial Uh, my lord prosecution it says the prosecution prosecution fir is prosecution pending prosecution is uh, not yet uh, started not has started it is a fir once it comes before the no that that has already been defined in catenas of when prosecution is starts ha ah. it's only after submission of the charge sheet and then cognizance no, is taken after, then after fir there is no prosecution it is investigation uh, you see Malad after investigation they can always file a closure report malat if there is a closure report 
there can't be any prosecution i was just drawing my lord so the therefore <laughs> therefore they are in a bind mano they are in a bind because they don't know how to withdraw or fire uh, that is a kind of uh, presenting a fait accompli to the court mallard no 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 you will just see 